Hi, I'm Karen Golden with Wine and Dine San Diego Radio, and I'm here celebrating Cinco de Mayo with Isabel Cruz of Isabel's Cantina and Barrio Star. Isabel's going to make us a drink that we can uh, enjoy for the holiday. Yes, thank you for having me. This is a really simple thing that anybody could do, and um, I do it at home all the time for parties because what's great about this is that if you have a mixed party where there's a bunch of kids and a bunch of adults, everybody likes this. And what's it called? We're going to make a raspberry agua fresca, but you can do this with any kind of fruit. Okay. Um, so um, what I do is, um, like I said, any kind of fruit works, um, anything that's in season, but if it's not in season, you could also do frozen. These are organic frozen um, raspberries, and they work really good for this. So um, what we do, and it, this is very simple. It only has um, three, four ingredients. It's also um, something that you could get creative with. Okay. You know, now, there's if, no if you have fresh berries, do you want to put them in the freezer before you make the drink? No, you don't okay, have to. Okay, you don't have you to don't, do that. You don't have okay. to. Agua fresca, like I said, is a very simple thing to make. Um, and, um, at the restaurants, my cooks in the kitchen are always making it from the, for themselves. And they just use whatever fruit we have handy. You know, cantaloupe is usually a typical one, pineapple. Um, and then you could add other things to it also. You could add mint, even cilantro. So different you could herbs. get very creative with it. And what I do with the raspberry one, the, the um, simplest way is just um, raspberries. I put um, fresh squeezed lime juice, sugar, okay. and you also, you don't have to, um, you could use any kind of sugar. You could use brown sugar, you could use agave syrup, you could use whatever you have handy. Okay. And the difference between an agua fresca and say a juice is that this is very light, so um, that's why it's agua. You know, it has right. more water in it, okay. and I like that. I like um, the simple, the simple, fresh mm -hmm. taste that you get from agua fresca. And then um, we're just gonna squeeze some um, limes. Whoa, whoa! These are great. Maybe I should have had a little bigger bowl. Actually, I think. How about we use this? You one? know what? Yeah, we could use this one and. Um, I always do it with the um, the flesh side down, so See, that the liquid comes down and out and keeps the seeds in, and it doesn't go squirting us all over here. Okay, I just did that so you'd see what not to do. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so about how many limes do you need to use? Um, do you know what? This is also a personal taste kind of thing. Okay. So I mean, I like things limey, so. I don't know. These are and look at how juicy these, these limes are. These are beautiful. Yeah. So you get that acid and you get the sugar and sweetness from the berries, yes. and then augment it a little bit with uh, some other sugar. I bet you could use a little bit of vanilla or some of the you could use extracts. Anything you want to use in this. You know what else? A little heat. A little heat. You know what? Well, you know what I would do to make it really fun is. Um, do a agua fresca and then what you could do is infuse tequila with say roasted jalapenos oh nice and then you add that yeah. to the agua fresca yeah and so that's what makes it great for a party that you have the simple agua fresca for kids and then for the adults you add some tequila Absolutely. to it as now what i would do <laughs> maybe i would have different flavors different colors different colors i was going do to a say cantaloupe and a raspberry you don't want the kids going down no by you steak. don't you don't you don't <laughs> okay that seems that's enough lines let's see how many do we use we used about three but these like i said we were we got Very lucky juicy. those were really really juicy and then sugar and again, you know what, I would start off with not that much sugar because you could always add more, but you can't, you can't. take it out. Right, so that there. looked like not quite a tablespoon. Maybe, you know, maybe it's like, um, maybe it's a little bit more than that, did you think? Um, okay, let's see. Now, I'm not real great with technology, even this kind, but I that seemed to go good. together, okay. There you go. And look at that gorgeous color. Isn't it beautiful? That's why I like using berries, because the colors are just so great. And then for a party, have you seen those agua fresca jars yeah. that they sell? Yeah. Those are really, really fun. And they're not very expensive. They're not very them. expensive, and you could have um, 
a couple different um, a couple different kinds. Right. You could have two of them. Right. You know, and you could that way. You don't get them mixed up. Exactly. Also. Exactly. This is a little thick. I think we need. We'll add some more Can water. I get you to some this more one? water. Yes. Some okay. More water would be good. And this is also a personal taste. But you're going to add ice to it also, okay. so that will make it, yeah. And again, not better to have too little at first and add than to have something watery that exactly. can't change. So let's see, and then we have some ice right here. I would think mint would be beautiful. With mint this. is great. You know what's a great combination is pineapple with mint is great yeah. also. Any kind of fruit you have on hand is awesome for this. And this is a nice alternative to margaritas, which well, people tend to think Well, very simple. Of. Yeah. Because you, you could have this done and in pitchers or in the agua fresca jars, and then you don't have to worry about making a bunch of drinks and just right. have your tequila on the side. People can add a little bit, spike their drink yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Or a lot as the night gets goes on. So um, and this looks really pretty in a picture also. Well, I think I'm going to rethink this and do it like this. It smells good too, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Very raspberry. Yes. That's beautiful. It's pretty. So it's a little bit on the thick side, but... Um, that's great if you're gonna add some tequila to it. Ah. So let's hear. We gotta put a little. Marvelous. Let's, okay. Okay, what a pretty drink. Okay. Happy Thank Cinco you. de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is lovely. Isn't it good? It's nice and light. Yeah. And you, you get add the a little more sugar if you like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is great. Thanks so much. Thank Happy you. Happy Cinco de Mayo.